Well, let's let's start with with Prosico because you've you've worked with Prosico for quite a while. About about, about forty, 40 years. years. About forty years. They operate the same way that we like to operate and offer great quality uh, and solutions. We, we don't typically even consider another product. We go ahead and and submit for the process solvents product simply because we know there's not going to be an issue. People that know Prosico know us for our cleaners and our protective treatments. Those that are involved in new construction rely on Sure Clean and Weather Seal to clean and protect their newly constructed masonry and concrete buildings. Those that are involved in building restoration rely on EnviroClean and Conserver to clean and preserve older masonry surfaces. The fact that we are involved with buildings from the day they're constructed through generations of use and through their ultimate restoration gives Prosico a unique perspective on just how drastically our wall assemblies have changed. Brick over block has given way to brick over steel studs and sheathing. Full bed depth stonework has given way to thin stone veneers. So what happens? When it's warm or even hot and humid outside, the air conditioner is cranking on the inside. Nature always wants to establish an equilibrium. So you get what's called infiltration of that warm, humid air. And you can get the kind of problems that none of us want to have to deal with because you know if you allow water to get in that backup wall or if you allow air to move back and forth carrying with it water vapor that can condense, you're not only setting yourself up for a mold situation, but you're also undermining the integrity of the structural components, you're wetting out the insulation and reducing the energy performance of the building. By stopping that air leakage in and of itself leads to significant energy savings. At the same time these changes have occurred with the masonry wall components, the windows and doors that fill the openings have become ever more energy efficient, no longer acting as leaky release valves to relieve pressure differentials or to admit a drying breeze. Many of you can remember when we had single pane glass how many days of the year during the cooler months we'd see condensation on the inboard side of that glass. Well likewise if you allow air to move back and forth you're likely to have condensation on the inboard side of the backup wall as well. I believe the air barriers are becoming so popular because everybody's pushing green and saving energy of course, this is a big thing with the, with the mold and mildew issues and the, uh, and the energy efficiency that it provides. There, there will be a pretty good market in it, I believe. So this is something that we know is going to stay. It's going to be around. These changes in the way we build our buildings added to the increasing demands that we as building occupants have on controlling our environments have added the need for an important new component to our wall assemblies building wide air barriers. For Prosico, that was the genesis of our guard, our line of fluid applied, vapor permeable, air and water resistive barriers.